Hello there guys, Eugene here from Review Outdoor Gear and today I have a review for you of an awesome axe. This is the Council Tool Woodcraft Pack Axe. Let me just briefly talk about Council Tool and then I'll get into the details of this axe specifically and then we'll do some testing, some chopping, splitting and uh, talk about the whole axe and hopefully this will be a good review for you and a little bit of an informational specs video as well. Council Tool is a US based company. They're based in North Carolina. Uh, they've been making axes and tools for like over 100 years now. They've made tools and axes for the Forest Service, for fire departments. They also make, you know, picks and all sorts of other tools. Like you might be familiar with some of these axes that they have like this. But they have recently gotten into the market of woodcraft and bushcraft and all of that. So Council Tools Velvet Cut line is their highest quality line of axes. And what these axes have is a very nice steel. It's a 5160 steel alloy and they hardened their edges to an RC hardness of uh, low to mid 50s. So it's a very, very nice uh, ax head. These specific woodcraft axes, they have two sizes. They have the 24 inch and the 19 inch handle. Otherwise the heads are identical on these two. And uh, what they have on these is they have an unpainted head. It's hand forged, uh, which means that basically it's not just stamped out with a machine, it's actually manually adjusted by somebody there. They don't paint them with anything, they just leave this kind of nice sheen on them from the factory. And the handles are left raw. There might be a hint of some oil on it, but I couldn't really tell. So I'm going to be finishing this up with some boiled linseed oil. Every one of these Woodcraft pack axes comes with a little booklet. And it's a really nice little booklet, it has a lot of information about the company and the line of axes that they make. And um, just very nice to read if you want to know a little bit more about it. Now let me get into some of the specs of these axes. I might be wrong, but my understanding was that the, there was a 24 inch axe and a 19 inch axe, uh, but for some reason I'm measuring it and it's actually 23 and 18 inches. And I checked my yardstick here, my magic yardstick, and it is accurate. So uh, maybe I just had something wrong or maybe they cut off an extra inch, I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, this 24 inch one that I thought was 24, it's actually 23. And in terms of the actual axe, head here it is six and a half inches this way the cutting edge is right around three and a half a little bit under three and a half or three and three eighths um, and it has this really nice little lip here at the cheek and then this little uh, cut in here for your for your hand if you're handling it and uh, so it's two and a half there and this thinnest portion is one and seven eighths inches so the pole of the axe here is about one and three quarters this way and just one inch here. The magic yardstick does its thing. And both of these axes are exactly the same head. Uh, they just have a different length handle. So I already talked about the steel. Um, it has a nice stamp here, USA made. On here it has the council tool symbol. The older versions used to have this laser printed thing, which I did not like, and they have stopped doing that. So you will not have that anymore, but you will have a nice stamp like this. This looks much better to me. So the axe bit here, um, you can see it's forged to have this really nice little groove here and here, a tapering. And this allows only this portion to be kind of sliding through the wood as you're splitting and it prevents some of the binding. Um, and that does help with being able to pull the axe out a little bit easier. It has a really nice flat grind on it. Done really nicely at the factory. It comes razor sharp, hair splitting sharp from the factory. Um, it also has this feature here, which I'll demonstrate to you, uh, which has a really nice 90 degree edge here. And you can see that they machined this side off after they forged it to give you the ability to strike a ferro rod. That's really nice. And like this is a line of woodcraft, bushcraft, you know, so it's designed to be used in multiple scenarios. And the other thing is that it has this hardened pole here as well. So you can use that as a hammer or uh, driving stakes and all that kind of thing. So it's not a soft pole as some other axes have it. The handle on these axes is a hickory handle. Uh, it is seated really nicely. Uh, you can see the mushrooming there on the top there. It's let out a little bit beyond the eye here, which is nice. Um, it has a metal round wedge and then a, just a regular kind of wood wedge there. A very nice grain throughout. Nice grain orientation here on the back. Nice narrow lines of grain as well. And uh, it has a really nice palm swell both directions, this way, as well as this way. So it gives you a really nice hold here on the back of the axe. I like the fawn, fawn's foot uh, shape to the axe. It has a really nice 
organic shape. Overall, a really nice looking ax. So side by side, the 19 and the 24 inch or the 18 and the 23 inch axes are very, very similar. You can see they have a very similar shape. I think this one here, the larger one has a nicer kind of aesthetic to it. This one, the head seems to be a little bit too large for the handle, I think, but um, otherwise they're very, very similar. Everything else is identical about them except the length of the handle. And the weight of the smaller one here is two pounds and 9.1 ounces. And the weight of the larger ax is two pounds and 9.8 ounces. So very, very similar weights. So both these axes come with this little uh, sheath or mask, uh, which is actually pr quite decently made. Um, it's better than other ones I've seen. So it does have a welt, which is good. Um, it is made out of leather, has a nice snap. It has three rivets here in the corners and it's stitched. It is not glued, however, so that's one negative I see there. Uh, and then the only reason that would be a negative is um, it's a lot easier for the ax to slide between the welt and the side of the sheath there. Um, so, but that's not a big deal. So it's actually not a bad uh, little mask or sheath for them. Um, but as is our tradition with all of our axes that we get, we do make sheaths for them on our own. And so we have made a sheath, of course, for this ax. And uh, my dad is the one that is the master here. And you can see that uh, this sheath basically fits perfectly like a glove, just like that. Um, we made this little curve here so it'll kind of match a little bit here for the aesthetic. Um, it is saddle stitched, so you can cut one of the strands and it will still stay together. Um, it is glued together all the way throughout. It has the steel rivets um, and some of this nice kind of detailing around it. And a, the snap goes around the back here, around the shoulder of the ax. It snaps down just like that. So this will be available on our website and links will be down in the description and up in the information button on top. Um, you can buy one of these for yourself if you're interested. So some people want to carry the ax when they're out about in the woods and they want to have it on their, uh, on their belt perhaps or maybe on their backpack. Um, and Council Tool does make a whole sling system for this. You can check it out on their website. But we've also designed kind of a simpler uh, design. It's a, basically a holster for your whole uh, ax. And so what it is is it's a little thing like this and you can drop your ax in just like that and it hangs there and very easy to remove it and drop it back in. So uh, these kind of go together. When you go to the website, on our, at our website, you'll see that uh, they're, that's sold on our website as well. So you can buy it as a, as a set. All right, guys, well, let's do a little bit of chopping and splitting. I'm gonna just chop through this branch here. Chops pretty well, goes right through. Um, in terms of making a steak, this is one-handed chopping. Now for this, probably the smaller one would be better because I'm holding it way down here. And you can even get closer on it like this, choking up towards the blade. So that's really nice. The edge holds up really well. I'm going to chop at this knot here and see how the edge holds up. Excellent. I'm really going at it here. Very, very good. The edge is just looking perfect. So I'm gonna also just do a little bit of kind of carving here, or maybe making a feather stick. And you can see that works really well, especially with the flat grind or the scandy grind. You can see that that's shaves wood pretty well. I'm gonna make a steak here. Okay. Okay, let's do some splitting. Here's a 
decently sized log, not too big. All right. One handed. Two handed. That's working really well. So let's strike a fire steel with this 90 degree edge. And these are also available on our website and we make these as well. Um, but the 90 degree edge here, there are multiple ways you can try to hold this, either like this or other ways. I haven't really found an absolutely nice way to do this, but uh, it's nice to have this in an emergency. If you have no other way of doing this, you can just do it like this. So that throws off a nice spark. So that definitely is a nice way to strike that fire steel in a pinch. So overall guys, a very nice quality tool from Council Tool. This Woodcraft Pack Axe I think is an excellent choice uh, if you're even looking at getting even a first outdoor axe or maybe you're one of those collectors or whatever you are. A very nice quality tool. I'd recommend it. Check it out on their website. Check it out on Amazon. Also, if you're interested in our sheaths, check them out as well on our website as well as the holster and the fire steel. Um, thank you guys very much for watching the video. Thank you also for all your questions and comments. Leave them down in the comment section below. Um, Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. If you're interested in more videos, check out other Axe reviews as well on my channel. And, and as always, guys, don't forget to praise God for everything he provides for us. I will see you in the next video.